So there have been news reports that have come out in the last couple of days that there are people who have elected to fight with ISIS that have decided to return home to Canada. Um, and uh, the headline coming out of this uh, from the Government of Canada's response was first and foremost that they were going to provide quote reintegration support for these people. Um, I, you know, I, I guess, uh, and I, I've, t to his credit, I was watching the public safety minister's response to this, and he's saying, "Look, you know, we need to make sure that Canadians are safe." However, um, I guess my response to this would just be that um, these are people who have chosen to support um, a group of people that have committed genocide against. Um, many people, but you know, I, you, you all know that I'm a champion for uh, the Yazidi people who have seen the most brutal atrocities happen to them at the hands of ISIS. So it's just, I guess it's just difficult for me to read headlines like this because I think in this situation, um, what I would encourage the government to do is to understand that first of all, Canadians want to be safe. Um, the first thing that they want to hear with regard to somebody who is returning from fighting with ISIS is not about reintegration support, but it's really about how the government is going to keep Canadians safe. Um, so I think that the government, and I would encourage them to provide a little bit stronger messaging around how they plan to do this. Um, and then from there, I think the government also needs to be very cognizant of the fact that there are people living in Canada now that have had to flee the violence uh, that these people perpetrated. Um, I mean, like this isn't some minor skirmish. This is a, a group of radical death cultists that subjugated people for, for years. Um, I'm not sure if the public safety minister has, has ever had to sit in a room with a woman 